stakeholders have stressed the need for a sustainable integrated transport policy to enhance Nigeria's transportation sector. They made the call during the unveiling and launching of the Global Transport Policy Annual Transport Roundtable and Bilingual Magazine. The Governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babadide Sonwulu, and the Minister of Aviation and Aerospace Development, Mr. Festus Kiyamo, were among key stakeholders who were represented at the event. Sonwulu was represented by the Commissioner for Transportation, Mr. Uluwashin Ushiemi, while the Minister was represented by Mr. Henry Agbebire, Director of Special Duties, Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria, FAN. They restated commitment to ensuring a sustainable, efficient, and reliable transportation system that would attract investors and encourage public-private partnership. In order to achieve a sustainable, efficient, and reliable transportation system that is also attractive to investors and encourage public-private partnership, a policy document needs to be put in place to protect all parties involved. Hence, a workable transport policy was developed to run seamlessly, to run seamlessly the implementation of our transportation master plan in line with this Admission Themes Plus agenda. This document, when fully operational now, after the launch next month, will serve a number of functions. First, as a set of transport development, development goals, objectives and strategies for the government and people of Lagos State. Second, as a basis for emerging regulations and legislation on transport and traffic development of the state. We are strongly committed to ensuring that our aviation and aerospace sector is not only modern and efficient, but also environmentally sustainable and inclusive. Therefore, in line with our vision for the aviation sector, on assumption of duty, we came up with a five-point agenda aimed at accelerating the existing aviation roadmap. The five-point agenda, which are in sync with the Renewed Hope Agenda, with infrastructural development as a key component as follows. One, to ensure strict compliance with safety regulations and continuous upward movement of Nigeria's rating by ICAO, that's the International Civil Aviation Organization that regulates um, aviation in the world. Two, support for the growth and sustenance of local businesses whilst holding them to the highest international standard in the aviation industry. Three, improvement of infrastructures in the aviation industry. Four, development of human capital within the industry. Five, optimizing revenue generating from the federal government. Dr. Oluwashe Gumusa, Chairman and Chief Consultant, Global Transport Policy, stressed the need for strategic policies designed to optimize transportation networks to ensure efficiency. Beyond the, interest, the, the, the transport policy that has been formulated, we are looking at holistic transport policy that will address every sector of transportation and supply chain. Because without supply chain, we cannot have effective transport system in Nigeria. So all this is all inclusive. It's an holistic policy that will address the major challenges. If we are to grow our economy and to enhance our economy, there is need for us to have a document that will address the challenges and the prosperity in the industry. And these are areas where investors are looking forward to see before they can come into Nigeria and see areas where they can also invest. CNG is, an, is a part of the challenges that need to be addressed. We are bringing this on board. We are also bringing uh, electric vehicle on board and so many other things. Transport is huge. And if we are unable to have a document, then we will be joking with different ideas as if we are running a little test. It shouldn't be a little more test. It must be guided by law and it must be guided by policy that will drive it. And it must not just be a policy, but a policy that can be appraised and see performance and align it with international best practices as it meets demand at every given time. With CNG, it does two things. It helps with the uh, climate. But most importantly for a businessman like me, it reduces our cost of operation because the CNG, the gas, is a lot cheaper than uh, diesel that we are presently using now. So, 
I'm very excited about it. I'm hoping that the government will come to our aid and allow us to be able to turn some of our old buses, you know, change the engine from on diesel engine to gas engine to CNG engine because we cannot do it by ourselves. Uh, we've been, we're talking to Lagos State government, but even the federal government has to come to our aid so that we can, you know, take those instead of just throwing the old stock away. Let's take, uh, you know, majority of them. Let's uh, change the engine from CNG or from our uh, diesel engine to CNG. But I'm very excited about it. I believe it's a great opportunity for Nigeria and it's also good for the climate. Nigeria not having a transport policy is making us lack direction. So we need to create a transport policy. We need them to pursue that transport policy, develop capacity, infrastructure, professionals, and we must have a direction. And then that will uh, give us the necessary investment to become um, transport rich.